Welcome back, watch fans, or should I say Formula One fans. That's right. <sighs> Another F1 watch. I know, I know. I've bought, let's see, two other Jacques Le Mans Formula One watches. Uh, I've got a uh, Tag Heuer Calibre 16, and then I've got this cool o homage watch, or homage, however you're going to say it. Uh, and then I've got, I think I've got one for sale. Yes, the Renault uh, Dutch TW Steel watch, and now another F1 watch. I can't help myself. I love these watches. Oh, my God. Just look at that. It says, please pick me up. And this is a spectacular watch. Another Jacques Le Mans. This one is brand new. Um, well, I should say another gray market watch. Absolutely spectacular watch, though. Um, never, never used. Died on the shelf. I got it for cheap. Replaced the battery. Cleaned the crystal. Look at this watch. This looks like the steering wheel to... Well, if I'm honest, an old cutlass. Because they think they used to sell these and you'd wrap it around the steering wheel. <laughs> that was before my time. But I did have 73 Olds uh, Cutlass Supreme. And you know what? I'll put a video of it right up there. <laughs> Yeah, anyways, okay. So, oh, what else can I say? This one's a chronograph, just like the other one. God, what a great watch. What a great watch. Okay, let's cue the Jacques Le Mans video. Jacques Le Mans is a quality mid-level watch company founded out of Corinthia, Austria. Originally founded in 1975, Jacques Le Mans has been in continuous operation for over 45 years. Although the name suggests or implies that it is the product of a man named Jacques Le Mans, in fact, the founder is named Alfred Riedel. In the early years of the company, Alfred would travel throughout Austria and Germany to negotiate deals with quality watch manufacturers. Through these manufacturers, he would sell rebranded merchandise under the Jacques Le Mans marquee. Alfred's ability to keep abreast of market trends allowed the company to not only survive the quartz crisis, but in fact find success in it. Today, Jacques Le Mans Limited cooperates with trading partners globally, but Jacques Le Mans watches are also sold in specific mono-branded stores in Austria. Since its foundation, Jacques Le Mans Limited has grown into an international corporation and is represented today in over 120 countries globally. The company offers a vast product range of over 650 models. While the majority of these use quartz movement, Jacques Le Mans also offers watches with an automatic and manual wind movement at their core. Jacques Le Mans Limited has been very successful in their commitment to professional sports, carrying several lines representing such organizations as EuroLeague Basketball, Austrian Football Organization, Formula One, and others. All right, so what can I say about this watch? Well, it comes in this fabulous Formula One box that you can keep in your closet or whatever. And you can put your watch in there and then you can open it up and look at it. It's padded right there. See nice leather padding just in case that's important to you. I'm not sure that it is, but it's a nice box. That's not what we're here for. Ah, there it is. So this is a chronograph and it has date and Let's see, 24 hour, uh, which is actually very cool, mind you. I actually really like 24 hour dial because, you know, if I'm stuck in a server room somewhere for more than 12 hours, I don't know if it's night or day. I mean, it happens, right? So you got this cool bezel, does not turn, but it's nice. This is a solid sapphire crystal, domed ever so slightly. Very cool. Love it. Um, it is uh, not a screw down crown but that is okay who needs one it is uh embossed there you can see it up there on the back on the the lug <clears throat> and let's see is it on the strap well but it says Jacques Lamont, so that's okay but um yeah very nice watch i love this style it is a spectacular chronograph it uses a sub second which you can barely see let me move that out of the way now what's, what's really cool i like these hands 
these hands remind me of say um, sort of the steering wheels you know that that you had on some of the old race cars uh, but yep so this is start and stop should be start and stop yep so you can see all right go ahead there we go and this is the reset um, and once that makes a complete rotation then it begins to tick down on the uh, the, the dial there at the nine o'clock uh, and that will count up to um, an hour of time so pretty cool uh, very nice watch I mean great condition it's new um, oh, I'd have to say this one I believe when I looked it up this one is was from like about 2011 so it's a little bit older but very nice watch and, and, and the leather strap is very comfortable um, before I start getting into the real specifics of the watch, let's go ahead and take a look at the movement video so we can see what's in it. The Jacques Lemaire Chronosport uses the VD-53B movement by SII. Founded in 1937, SII is a member of the Seiko Group and stands for Seiko Instruments Incorporated. SII specializes in the manufacture of watches and leverages its core competency to create high-precision watches and movements that are utilized by watch manufacturers all over the world. As a well-known quality manufacturer, Seiko Watch Corporation cooperates closely with watch producers in the planning and sales to ensure their movements are well represented. The VD-53B is a six-hand standard chronograph with calendar date at the 3 o'clock location. It includes a 60-second counter at the 6 o'clock location and a 60-minute counter at the 9 o'clock location. Both utilize a two-pole stepping motor with electronic circuit reset. There is an additional subdial at the 3 o'clock location which maintains 24 hour time tied to the primary hands. Although there are zero joules in this movement, it is considered a high quality, high value movement. The VD53B uses the SR920 SW Silver Oxide battery and supports a hacking feature for extended battery life. VD53B's typical battery life is estimated approximately two years while the VDB 53B's version found in this watch supports a battery life of up to three years. Accuracy of the movement is quite good, maintaining plus or minus 20 seconds per month at normal operating ambient temperature range. This movement may also be sold by additional watch manufacturers, which includes Hattori and Epson. The non-SII branded movements are assembled using Seiko parts by their respective companies. All right, so now we know that this has a very nice Seiko movement in it. Um, it is one of their older, but uh, more reliable, in my opinion, uh, Seiko, Seiko movements. Uh, excellent, excellent movement. You know, let me turn off this. The chronograph. There we go. What, what's it doing? It's got to go back. Fascinating. All right. Um, excellent movement. Um, great watch. Uh, let's get into some of the details. I'm going to get right off and start doing the measurements. Uh, very large case. I want to say this is like a 46. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. 52 millimeter case. That is massive. I didn't even, you know, I got to put this on. I got to see what this looks like. This is incredible. This thing is gigantic. Whoa, look at this thing. This thing is massive. How, you know, how have I not ever put this on before? Man, you've got to be a pretty big dude. I've got seven and a half inch wrist. Look at this thing. This thing just looks like a like a I've got like some sort of machine on my on my wrist. Look at this thing. It's gigantic. Wow, this thing is beast. This is the real deal right here, folks. This thing is awesome. Alright. Let's keep doing the measurements. So there's that. Case depth is. 14 millimeters. I'm gonna say 14 because it, yeah, there we go. 14 and twenty-six millimeter lug. This is really a beast. This is a giant's watch. My god. Uh, Alright, what else can I say about this? Um chronograph, of course. Uh it is all stainless steel case. Very nice leather strap. I mean this is really such a nice strap. It absolutely is. Um, it has a sapphire dome crystal. We talked about that earlier. Very nice bezel. Love it. It has um, water resistance to uh, 10 atmospheres. 
or 10 bar if you're in Europe and Canada. Um, it that is 100 meters. So you can, uh, as, you know, like I said, that's the length of football field. So that's how far down you can go with this sucker um, and that it's rated for. So it means you maybe could go a little further. Um, you can use this uh, light snorkeling, swimming, um, no diving, but uh, shower, doing the dishes, and whatever else you do in the water. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Let's see if this has any loom. I'm going to guess just on the tips from what I can see. cool all right not entirely helpful but you can still see it's not half bad interesting but it looks so much cooler though I mean, look, look at those look at those uh the numbers how they light up that's pretty cool all right anyways stop screwing around right i was not expecting this thing to be that beast in size but what a great watch um yeah not much else to say about this but uh this was <laughs> god what a huge watch all right um if you like this video please leave a like if you hated it please like it also um don't dislike it if you don't like the watch <laughs> please just put a like either way uh the like is whether or not you like me and i'm a nice guy and i'm doing this for free don't make any money um, certainly not, uh, but I do enjoy it, so I really appreciate your time and effort. Um, all right, thank you very much. Please subscribe.